like the video in the next five seconds or your shoe like Ben Simmons, I would not risk it. Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Summer Man. I'm back with another video. As y'all can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be showing y'all my toy slash your playmaker, best badges, animations, and the jump shot that I've been hiding for y'all. I'm going to show y'all that as well. So first, let's get into the finishing badges. Now, you can really run this any kind of way, but what I like to do is run Gold Slithery, Gold Contact, Gold Giant Slayer. The reason why I run the Giant Slayer is because, you know, when I'm ISOing, sometimes, you know, the center might come to the paint. And you want that contact dunk, you know what I mean? But if not, if you're not really, if you don't really care about Giant Slayer, you can just take off Gold Giant Slayer and put on Gold Fancy. Now I know you guys thinking I should have been running this at first. I just don't, I don't like the abuse Fancy footwork, man. To me, like hop steps are so OP, and I don't like to play like that. All right, so that's my finishing badges. Now for shooting badges, see, I need one more badge to to max it out. So I'm gonna just basically tell y'all what I would run. I would run. I would normally run um, Silver Hazel Hunter, Gold Ranger Center, Gold Quick Draw, and Bronze Volume Shooter, and Bronze Green Machine. Now, sometimes I do take Green Machine off and run Bronze Hot Start. It all depends, all right? So, I feel like that's the best badge setup for, you know, for a non-shooting build. Unless you're unless you're a spot up, if you, if you have 10 shooting batters on, like, a corner build, I would run Bronze Catch and Shoot. But, for, like, if you're ice someone and running one with a non-shooting build... Then you should not run catch and shoot and run what I'm running. For playmaking, now this this varies as well. Now, I advise y'all to run bailout bronze on any build, any guard build, because you there are going to be times you want to pass out. Bailout will literally save your life. Alright. So this is what I use. Now, depending on who I'm playing with, if, if alright, let me just say it like this: if the person you're playing with cannot shoot, you might probably you probably gonna want to run it like this. If the person you're playing with can't shoot. But if you're confident in your teammate shooting, then you can just leave it like this. Or you can even put unpluckable on bronze or silver and probably run like ankle breaker silver like or gold. It all depends. Like I like my setup like this. This is what I feel most comfortable with. So that's what I rock. Now you'll notice that the badge lineup is slightly different than my pass first wing. My pass first wing don't get as much badge as this guy. So that, let me just say that first. And when I'm playing twos, this is my bad setup when I'm on the twos. Now, I know you guys have called me crazy for using pickpocket, but guys, I've been getting a lot of on-ball steals with this build, so you, I like to run pickpocket off, all right? So, yep, this is my bad setup, Clamps, Intimidator, in Interceptor, Self-Explanatory. Like, you guys know I love going for passing lanes, getting passing lane steals, so I strongly advise y'all to run Interceptor. Now, let's get into the animation and the jump shot. So, I'm going to just show you my animations real quick, and then I'm going to show you guys the jump shot. So, these are my... These are my animations right here. I don't touch, like, stuff down here I don't touch. Here's my dribble moves. My dunks. I pretty much use most of the NBA players' dunks. And, you know, obviously the contact dunks. And then, um, I don't know if you guys care about the dances, but like, these are my dances. And I don't really, use, uh, I don't normally use a landing, but these are, like, the, my main three if I were to put one on. So, yeah. Alright, now I'm gonna show y'all my jump shot. Alright, so here's my jump shot now. In the, now, this is a jump shot I've been hiding for y'all, but I'm finally gonna show y'all. Base 38, Michael Jordan, John Stockton, 50 50. This jump shot is straight greens. Put it on. Let me know how it is for you. And now I'm gonna show y'all my attributes, and then we'll get right into the gameplay, y'all. So, here's my attributes. Keep in mind, I'm not 99.9, I'm just 99.0. But here's my attributes 83 driving dunk. Or 83 drama layup, 88 drama dunk. I can get contact dunk, 73 point. I shoot really good. 85 ball handle and takeover. I can, you know, do everything I need to do. 85 still, 92 rebound, 86 perimeter. And with that being said, let's get right to the video, y'all. All right, y'all. So now that you guys see my baddest animation, my jump shot, I'm gonna show y'all some really good. I got a couple of good gameplays to show y'all. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice that in this gameplay, like in this video, only. You guys don't see me shoot that much. Now you'll notice every person that I'm playing against, they pretty much like, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. They pretty much hug me at the three. It's like most people I play be watching my videos, so they know I can shoot. So they barely guard me at the three. But don't worry, guys. This jump shot really is cash. If you saw my previous gameplays of me shooting, you'll know that the jump shot is cash. Matter of fact, this is proof that it's cash. 
I'll pull up right now for y'all. See we pulling up. That's a green light, bro. I told y'all this jump shot is cash, but I don't really get the portray the jump shot that much because people guard me at the three. They pretty much hug me at the three. And I never, it's kind of weird. I never, like, people that play against me when they do that, I'm not used to people doing that. I'm used to people sitting low, like, low-key letting me shoot. So you'll see me that I'm playing, like, not really playing like myself. I'm more passing, more, you know, trying to dunk. So I just had to let you guys know. See, look. This is what I'm used to playing against. People pull up, sit paint, and then, and then people will guard my three. So they're basically forcing me to pass. You know what I mean? Like, they see me as such a threat. You see me pulling up. That's pretty much game. I don't get why people always do that. I run with, with someone that can shoot, like a rebounding wing, you know, shooting lock or shooting center. Just, just in case stuff like that might happen. You know what I mean? Where people just leave me. I mean, guard me and then sit paint. So you see me taking a two. Now, one thing I noticed... Also, when I'm playing with this build on the tools court, is that shooting can be very inconsistent with this build. You know what I mean? Like, one minute you're having a game of your life, and then next minute you can't shoot to save your life. You know what I mean? No matter what. Now, what I do, how I handle that, is when I'm having a bad game, I just don't shoot. Stuff like that. Because, listen, if you guys look closely, I have some places I have cold spots and some places I don't have anything at all. Now, you guys can't blame me for having a coast. Well, you can, but at the same time, bro, sometimes I have the best game of my life where I'm shooting consistent greens. And some games where I just can't green at all. I don't know. So, if I have a cold spots, just ignore it. A couple games after, I'll have a hot spots again. It's just how 2K is. Like, some games, I mean, in my opinion, I don't agree with that, with the new hot spot system where you have to, you know, sh where you have to shoot in the park. They should leave the whole old hot spot system where, like, the you can get them in my career that's just better in my opinion but i guess having hot spots at park like that i guess having hot spots this way as a skill gap because you have to really shoot you have to really you have to really be able to shoot to have consistent hot spots everywhere because if you can't it'll definitely show on the court when you're missing cold spots white spots it'll definitely show up on the court so now these kids right here that i'm playing against these kids are trying so hard to beat me these kids probably pay me like three times or straight so i'm only gonna show one gameplay because i don't want i don't you guys i don't i don't like showing it, me beating the same people and over and over again you know what i mean it kind of gets repetitive for for me to play and i know it get repetitive for you to watch so that's why i only show like you know one game out of the three but you see me now one thing all right so guys if you're playing against a center or you are a center trying to guard the iso this is the worst thing you can do because it's actually easier for me to score in the center now i just made a hundred percent some of that layup and it was a late. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Now, it's actually a bad idea to put the center on ball because it's going to be easier for them to score in the center. Centers have like literally like negative two lateral quickness. And it's just not a good idea. You had a better chance, you know, guarding him. See, look, he's playing low. He doesn't know how to guard me. So I'm going to shoot the three and make him pay. That's that's why I always advise when you guys play twos, never put the center on ball. You know what I mean? Always have the center guarding another center or guarding wh whoever your teammate is because when you do that, it's just going to make it easier for the guard to score. Like, it's harder for a guard to score on another guard than it is for a center. But then to get all the pins, you see me missing that shot. Now, I want you guys to take a look at how they were playing this game. So, I understand them trying to post up my center when I'm in lock takeover because, you know, I'm going to be able to guard the guard. But I literally have no lock takeover right now, right? And he's still trying to post up the guard. And the center, or still trying to post up my center is what I meant to say. And the center... Is playing good defense like my center was playing good defense on him but 2k just kept letting him get the board and look this is what their gameplay was the whole time these guys were willing to beat me so bad they were willing to just you to you abuse a post now look remember when i said about hall of fame pickpocket give me that hall of fame pickpocket again give me that you can't say hall of fame pickpocket is not a comp badge i'm telling you guys listen if you got like a you don't even have to have a high still like if you got hall of fame defensive badges Try on Hall of Pickpocket, I'm telling you. I be it be coming in clutch for me. I actually really do enjoy Hall of Fame Pickpocket. It's one of the best badges in the game. Yes, I'm saying that. Hall of Fame Pickpocket. Try it after patch. It's really good for me. See me passing to my boy. He's greener. And let me know what other builds you want to see. If you guys want to know how to make this build, I have a link to this build in the description. Also, if you made it this far in the video, comment go to Stumpy. Let me see who really supports or really rock with me. It's been your boy Stumpy. I'll catch you in the next one. Appreciate you if you've made it this far. Appreciate you for watching. Drop a like, sub if you're new. I'm out, y'all. Peace.